on air at the I last minute. <laughs> I just said to Jerry, we're waiting. It doesn't I love matter. The buns, <laughs> I love the um, Three. Three. Okay. Is that I good? said Virginia no. will be happy with three. Yeah, yes, I'll be there. Is it on? <laughs> yeah. And John is. Um, so. John's 163. No, it's 167. So Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Good Shabbos. And um, actually, I have to stop for one moment. I have, I have a cold, and how I have come up here without any Kleenex, I'm not sure. But <laughs> give me a minute. <laughs> And the real, what I really need is if I have one of the choking attacks that it comes along occasionally, someone should come up here and I'll point to you about where to read. <laughs> and then when it's time for me to do my other thing, I'll have some water and I'll be fine. I'm probably going to be fine, but I have to be prepared. So, Shabbat Shalom. Good job. And we will start our service by taking some deep breaths and trying to let go of whatever might have bothered us during the week. So let's just leave those cares outside. And we can do it again. Some people have probably had a week where they need to do it again. <laughs> so before we, before we light the can or bless the candles and the wine and officially usher in Shabbat, I would just like to begin with the following. At other times, in other places, we may feel fragile and alone. Yet here we join together to find strength to build community as we look with wonder at the universe and seek our place within its vastness. To this place we come to lengthen our perspective. To this place we come to question and explore. In this place we awaken our imaginations. In this place we draw strength as we allow ourselves to dream. Together we share the challenge of an ever-changing world a world often beyond our control, incomprehensible and frightening. Together we seek to find meaning, ease our fears, understand our purpose. Together we share the burden and the blessing of responsibility. Today we join together in the safety of community as we reflect on our Jewish heritage. Today we join together in the bond of community as we celebrate this Shabbat. And now I would like to call John and Jerry Black forward. I would like for you to rise as we bless the candles and the wine, ushering in our real celebration of Shabbat. We're on page 82. Sabbaths long past, 
and of their beauty that delighted our hearts. May they inspire us to work for the great Sabbath of peace. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kishanu b'mitzvah, v'kivanu l'hablet men kel shabbat. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe. You hallow us with your mitzvah and command us to tend us to Sabbath light. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kidishanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu lehad likne, lehad likne, shel And now we turn to pages 167, 166. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, borei pere hagafen. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe. You call us to holiness with the mitzvah of Shabbat, the sign of your love, a reminder of your creative work, and of our liberation from Egyptian bondage, our day of days. On Shabbat especially, we hearken to your call to serve you as a holy people. We praise you, O oh God, for the holiness of Shabbat. Lachayim. And you may be seated, but not until you turn to people around you and wish them Shabbat Shalom. People you know, people <laughs> you shalom. don't know. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom. And we continue on page 83. Eternal God, who may abide in your house? Who may dwell in your holy mountain? Those who are upright, who do justly, all whose hearts are true. Who do not slander others, nor wrong them, nor bring shame upon their kin. Who give their word, and come what may, do not retract. Who do not exploit others, who never take bribes. Those who live in this way shall never be shaken. There are days when we seek material things and measure failure by what we do not own. On Shabbat we wish not to acquire, but to share. There are days when we exploit nature with reckless greed. On Shabbat we stand in wonder before the mystery of creation. There are days when we think only of ourselves. On Shabbat, we open our hearts to the needs of others. Therefore, we welcome Shabbat, day, day of, of rest, rest day, day of joy, of day of peace. Shalom Aleichem, Malachei HaSharet, Malachei Yod. Mi Melech, Malachei HaMelochim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Bochem le shalom, malachi ha shalom, malachi el yun. Mi melech, malachi ha malachim, ha kadosh baruchu. Baruchu ni le shalom, malachi ha shalom, malachi el yun. Mi melech, malachi ha malachim, ha kadosh baruch hu. Seid lechem lishalom, malachi ha shalom, malachi el yun. Mi melech, malachi ha malachim, ha kadosh baruch hu. The synagogue is the sanctuary of Israel, born of our longing for the living God. It has been to Israel throughout our wanderings, a visible token of the presence of God in our people's midst. Its beauty is the beauty of holiness. Steadfast, it has stood as the champion of justice, mercy, and peace. Its truths are true for all people. Its love is a love for all people. Its God is the God of all people. As it has been said, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. Let all the family of Israel, all who hunger for righteousness, 
All who seek the eternal find God here, and here find life. Yit kadal ve yit kadal shemei raba, amen. Ve alma divra hirute, ve amlish malchute, ve chayichon ve yomichon, u ve chaye ve chobet Yisrael. Bagala, bagala, u vi izman karif ve imru, amen. Yeheshme Raba Mevarach, Leolam Leolem Eolemaya, Yit Barach, Yit Barach, Ve Yishtabach, Ve Yit Pa, Ve Yit Roman, Ve Yit Nase, Ve Yit Adar, Ve Yit Ale, Ve Yit Alal, Shemei Tekudisha, Brichu, Brichu Leila, Min Kol Birchata, Ve Shirata, Tu shvechata venechemata da miron bealma beimru amen. Barechu et Adonai hamevorach. Baruch Adonai hamevorach. God, how can we know you? Where can we find you? You are as close to us as breathing, yet you are farther than the farthermost star. You are as mysterious as the vast solitudes of night, yet as familiar to us as the light of the sun. To Moses you said, you cannot see my face, but I will make all my goodness pass before you. Even so does your goodness pass before us, in the realm of nature, and in the joys and sorrows of life. When justice burns within us like a flaming fire, when love evokes willing sacrifice from us, when to the last full measure of selfless devotion we demonstrate our belief in the ultimate triumph of truth and righteousness, then your goodness enters our lives and we can begin to change the world. And then you live within our hearts and we, through righteousness, behold your presence. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shem Kevod Malchuto May be seated. The Havta et Adonai Eloheha, the Hole of Avcha, Uva Hol Nafshaka, Uva Hol Meodeha, the Hayu Adavari Maele, Asher Anohi Mitsavaha, Hayom Alevaha. Veshinan tam levanecha, vedi bartavam, veshivtecha bevetecha, uvelechtecha hava derech, uveshoch becha, uvekumecha, ukshatam laot ayadecha, vehayule totefot venecha, uktav tam amezuzot etecha, Uvi sharecha, le mantis keru, vasitem et comis votai, vitem kerushim le lohechem, ani adonai elohechem, asher hotzet yerchem, beretz mitraim, viot lachem le lohim. Ani Adonai Eloheim. You shall love your eternal God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your being. Set these words which I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. 
Let them be symbols before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I am your eternal God who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your eternal God. I, the Eternal One, have called you to righteousness and taken you by the hand and kept you. I have made you a covenant people, a light to the nations. We are Israel, witness to the covenant between (coughs) God and God's children. This is the covenant I make with Israel. I will place my Torah in your midst and write it upon your hearts. I will be your God, and you shall be my people. We are Israel. Our Torah forbids the worship of race or nation, possessions or power. You who worship gods that cannot save you, hear the words of the Eternal One. I am God, there is none else. We are Israel. Our prophets proclaimed an exalted vision for the world. Hate evil and love what is good. Let justice well up as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. We are Israel, schooled in the suffering of the oppressed. You shall not oppress your neighbors nor rob them. You shall not stand idle while your neighbor bleeds. We are Israel, taught to beat swords into plowshares, commanded to pursue peace. Violence shall no longer be heard in your land, desolation and destruction within your borders. All your children will be taught of your God, and great shall be the peace of your children. We are Israel, O God, when we are witnesses to your love and messengers of your truth. You are my witnesses, says the Eternal One, and my servant whom I have chosen. Know me, therefore, and put your trust in me. We are Israel, O God, when When we we proclaim proclaim you, God, God, our Redeemer, Redeemer, as did our ancestors on the shores of the Red Sea. Sea. Mi chamocha neidar bakudesh, norate hilot o sefele, norate hilot o sefele. Malakutecha rauvanecha bokeayam livne moshe. Adonai im loch, Adonai im loch, Leolam ba'ed. The Ne'emar, and it has been said, the Eternal One delivered Jacob and redeemed us from the hand of one stronger than ourselves. Baruch atah Adonai ga'al Yisrael. We praise you, O God, Redeemer of Israel. May we lie down this night in peace and rise up to life renewed. O God, spread over us your shelter of peace, of quiet and calm, and bless us with rest. And let a time come when morning will bring no word of war or famine or anguish, a time of happiness, of contentment and rest. Baruch atah Adonai, haporei sukkot shalom, aleinu v'al kol amo Yisrael, Va'al Yerushalayim. We give thanks for the night and its rest and the promise of peace for all the world. They do Oh, 
Shabbat Vayinafash Adonai Sefaitai Tifta Ufia Gita Hilatecha Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Aruchata Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe Avotenu, Vimotenu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Leah. Elohe Rachel, Ha'el Hagadol Hagibol Hanara, El Elyon, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vesoher Haste Avot Vimahot, Ume Vigula Levene Venehem, Leman Shemo Beahava, Melechoser Umashio Umagain, Baruchata Adonai, Magain Avraham Vezrat Sarah. God of, <clears throat> God of all generations, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, God of Sarah, God of Rebekah, God of Leah, and God of Rachel, be praised. Your wondrous creative power fills heaven and earth. God of life and death, be praised. Through us, send help to the common, healing to the sick, freedom to the captive. Confirm your faithfulness to those who sleep in the dust. Awesome and holy God, be praised. With acts of love and truth, we hallow your name as it is said. Be holy, for I, your eternal God, am holy. God of times and seasons, be praised. Enable us through Sabbath rest to explore and learn and impart the meanings of your Torah. Make our hearts ready to serve you this day and all days. You may be seated. God who answers prayer, be praised. May we, your people Israel, be worthy in our deeds and our prayer. Wherever we live, wherever we seek you, in this land, in Zion restored, in all lands, you are our God. Source of life and its wonders, be praised. You are the miracle within all we behold. You are goodness, you are compassion. We give thanks to you forever. Read with me, please. God of peace, of justice, and of love, be praised. Inspire us to banish forever hatred, war, and bloodshed. Help us to establish forever one human family united in peace. God of peace, bless us with peace. Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Leolam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Leolam Ki Ata Hu Melech Adon Lechol HaShalom Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Leolam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Leolam Beito Benecha Levarech Et Amcha Yisrael Bechol Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Leolam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Leolam 
tassible We pause now for a moment of personal and silent prayer. Bill and I returned this week from California, and I'm torn between sharing with you, on the one hand, reviews of wineries, stories about Jack London that we learned in a beautiful state park, and photos of our grandchildren, <laughs> and, on the other hand, commenting on this week's Torah portion. <laughs> When I tell you that the Torah portion is mainly about building the tabernacle in the wilderness, we might well imagine that wineries, restaurants, and excursions into the woods have a greater prominence in our lives than details about constructing a traveling sanctuary to remind the people of God's presence. But we might be wrong. Though we, may, though we may look at precise measurements and prescribed materials for making and decorating a portable tabernacle as having little to do with our lives, there are, in fact, some relevant ideas to consider. First of all, before the instructions for the tabernacle begin, Moses reminds the Israelite people that they are commanded to keep the Sabbath. In fact, the Torah reiterates that commandment 12 times. We must take a complete rest after our days of work, even when we consider the work God's work. After all, the Mishkan, the tabernacle, is God's work. So let me explain. While the Mishkan was God's work for the Israelites, Ours may be something entirely different. What was most important about God's commands about the Mishkan was that people were to use their own particular skills and their own particular talents and that they were to come forward willingly with their gifts. We can learn several important lessons from these commands. First and foremost in my mind, is that we are supposed to acknowledge our skills and talents and use them. Each of us has something or many things that we do well. We are not to be selfish in our daily lives. We are commanded to use our gifts to do God's work, however we define that. It may be artistic work or social justice work. It may be educational or legal, medical or social work. 
It may be the work of raising a family of responsible and kind children. It may be the work of finding solutions to some of life's greatest challenges. Throughout our Torah portion for this week, Moses tells the people that God wants them to use the skills he endowed them with. Now, as I look around this room, interestingly, I could write this even in advance. As I look around this room, I see many people who are retired, whose paid work days are over, who now have the opportunity to share their wisdom as well as their specific skills with other people. Where better can we see God's presence in our lives than when we share the lessons of our lives with other people? Second, Moses tells the people that God wants gifts from those, and this is a quote, whose hearts move them to give. There's plenty of work to be done, and God is very particular in telling Moses how it should be done, but he wants the people to do it willingly. The portion says repeatedly that, quote, all the men and women whose hearts moved them, unquote, were to bring materials and skills as a free will offering. We may be commanded to give, but the way in which we do it counts for a lot. Our hearts may be at the center of our existence, pumping blood to our organs and sustaining our lives. But that's just the physical part. Our spirits must also be at the center so that we live meaningful lives. Our time on earth is limited, and not one of us knows how much time we have. But we can wake up each day with purpose. It doesn't have to be a grand purpose. We all know how much small kindnesses mean to us. Often it takes so little to brighten another person's day. Let's pledge to strengthen our hearts not only by the physical exercise that prevents disease, but also by the compassionate response and the proactive care that prevent loneliness and exclusion. God wants willing hearts, and he has given us a Torah that tells us how to use them. Lastly, let's return to the beginning of the portion. No matter what form of work we do, we are commanded to rest. If God needed a day of rest, so do we. Many of us have never rested on the Sabbath in the traditional sense of prohibitions against all the routines of our lives. And I'm not here to tell you that you should, what you should or you shouldn't do. I can only tell you that when on occasion I make a change to my Saturday routine, deciding not to shop or deciding to put aside my phone for a few hours, I almost always use that time in a way that is very restful. I read, I write a letter, I call a friend, I take a nap, I go for a run. All of these activities cause me to step back from the usual busyness and to sharpen my focus on what is important to me. Rabbi Mordecai Kaplan described this need for Shabbat and its ensuing rest as being like the pause that an artist might take to stop and look at his painting, to freshen his vision of the object, the meaning of which he wishes to express on the canvas. No, I don't do that every week, and I don't know that I've ever done it for a full 24 hours when I do, but this much I know. I'm never regretful about having taken the time to rest, the time to connect with family and friends. Maybe I should try it more often. And if you want to know about wineries and restaurants in Jack London, you can talk to me later. And Bill will be glad to show you photos of our grandchildren. Shabbat shalom.
So, John, are you doing the announcements tonight? No. All right. I'm going to do the announcements tonight. Is somebody supposed to be doing the announcements? Uh, <laughs> all right. I shall not thank myself for doing services. <laughs> Um, I will be leading services tomorrow morning around 11. Torah study begins at 9.45. There are some additional things to say about how many cubits wide things must be and how much gold and how much dolphin skin and how much silver, so you might want to come. Um, there's one last opportunity to purchase merchandise from our fair trade sale. The companies that we were doing business with were kind enough to let us keep the, the goods a little bit longer. So if you'd like to come Sunday between 9.30 and 12 to see what we have, or Monday morning, um, we still have some very lovely things to buy. Um, we do have religious school this Sunday, but no Hebrew classes. The Jewish Federation is sponsoring the Academy Award-winning movie, Son of Saul, this week at the Robinson Film Center. It opened today. It will be shown all week. This month is March Madness at the theater, not just for basketball. It's March Madness at the Robinson, and there's no charge to watch any of the movies this month, but it is strongly suggested that you reserve tickets ahead of time. Book Club meets um, Tuesday night at 7. We will be discussing The Last Jews in Berlin by Leonard Gross. Simcha Shabbat for March will be March 11th when we bless and honor everyone with birthdays and anniversaries in March. Um, our Tat Shabbat will be March Saturday, March 12th from 9 to 9.30. We'll have a new interfaith family discussion Sunday, March 13th from 11 to 12. And finally, please plan to come to our Purim service Friday, March 18th, and the Community Purim Carnival Sunday, March 20th, from 10.30 to 1. Donations have been made to B'nai Zion for pulpit flowers in memory of Lalette Black by Martin Palmer, Jerry, and John Black, in memory of Zelda Goulder from Kathy Plant, in memory of Mary Louise Levy and Ben Levy Jr. from Ann, Nicole, and Jacqueline Cantor, in memory of Celia Murov Sider from Marcia Katzenstein and family, in memory of Fanny Rubenstein from the David Rubenstein family, and in memory of Herman Goodman from his family. So we will now turn to the inside back cover of our prayer books where we have our prayer for the sick. And as we think of those who need our prayers for healing, I will let my eyes meet yours, and you are welcome to call out a name if you'd like to do that. Otherwise, we will hold those names in our hearts. But let, let's have a chance to let you call the names out loud. So please read with me. O oh God, in our hearts we name those who are facing illness and pain. We join our prayers with the prayers of all who love them. Give them renewed comfort and courage. Strengthen in them the healing powers you have placed within us all. Guide the hands and the hearts of those who are entrusted with their care. May the knowledge of your love and ours give added hope to them and to their dear ones. May they find even greater strength because our prayers are linked to theirs. Baruch atah Adonai, Rofei HaCholim. We praise you, O Lord, the source of healing and health. And we would add, Misha Beirach Avotenu Ve'imotenu. May the one who blessed and protected our ancestors guard all those whom we have entrusted with the responsibility of defending our freedom and protecting us in this country, in the land of Israel, and everywhere they have been called to serve. May they return home safely and let us say, Amen. Amen.
We will now turn to page 148. I don't know if I still have any children in to come help to open the ark, but um, if not, I would say, or maybe we're going to have someone to help me open the ark. <laughs> well, let's wait a moment so that we do. All right. <laughs> I saw her earlier, so I know that she might not want to miss her chance to open the ark. I heard her. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe her brother, too. <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> I hear her. I need help opening the ark. <laughs> Oh, we're on page 148. Please rise when the ark is open. Alleinu le shabach la don hakol la tet kedula le otse bereshit shelo asanu kegoye haratzot velo samanu kemishpechot adama shelo sam chelkenu kahem begor alleinu chekol hamonam. Vanachnu korim, umishtachavim umodim. Lifne melech, malche hamalochim, hakadosh baruch. Lock him in. We're on page 149 now, and we will read. You spread out the heavens and establish the earth. You are our God. There is none else. You may be seated. In truth, you alone are our sovereign God, as it is written. Know then this day and take it to heart. The eternal one is God in the heavens above and on the earth below. There is none else. Eternal God, we face the morrow with hope made stronger by the vision of your deliverance, a world where poverty and war are banished, where injustice and hate are gone. Teach us more and more to respond to the pain of others, to heed your call for justice, that we may bring nearer the day when all the world shall be one. On that day the age-old dream shall come true. On that day, O oh God, you, you shall be one, and your name shall be one. Venemar vehaya Adonai le melech al kol haares bayom hau bayom hau yihe Adonai echad ushemo ushemo ushemo. In just a moment, we'll be on page 151, but I am sad to report that there were some deaths this week um, in law enforcement and in, with a firefighter. Um, Officer Ashley Gwendon was shot and killed while responding, while responding to a domestic disturbance in Woodbridge, Virginia. Officer Gwendolyn, you probably saw this in the paper, had been sworn in the previous day. It was her first day at work. Um, she was a member of the U.S. Marine Corps Reserve. She was 28 years old and a native of Springfield, Massachusetts. Police officer David Hofer was shot and killed after he and his partner responded to a report of suspicious activity at a park. He was 29 years old and served with the Ulysses Police Department in Texas for two years 
and had served previously with the New York City Police Department for five years. Deputy Sheriff Travis Russell was killed in a vehicle crash um, in Trinidad, Colorado while on patrol. He was 44. And Captain Peter Larley um, was 57 years old, served um, as a firefighter in Maine. He succumbed to injuries sustained by responding to a medical emergency. Our thoughts now turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, let us meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. And let us turn to page 152 and join me at the bottom of the page. It is hard to sing of oneness when our world is not complete, when those who once brought wholeness to our life have gone, and naught but memory can fill the emptiness their passing leaves behind. But memory can only tell us what we were in company with those we loved. It cannot help us find what each of us alone must now become. Yet no one is really alone. Those who live no more echo still within our thoughts and words, and what they did is part of what we have become. We do best homage to our dead when we live our lives most fully, even in the shadow of our loss. For each of our lives is worth the life of the whole world, and each one is the breath of the ultimate one. In affirming the one, we affirm the worth of each one whose life now ended brought us closer to the source of life, in whose unity no one is alone, and every life finds purpose. However brief may be our time on earth, O God, you endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. We now recall the loved ones, um, the parents um, who were who died in this past year, um, parents of those in our community. And we remember Mimi Hussey, Dr. Sidney Solomon Slutsky, Dr. Donald Rosen, Morris Summer, Dr. Laurie Vosca, Yvette Bell Summer, Val Gold, Ann Evinsky, Rhoda Gold, Marty Goldstein, Arnie Ferrer. And we remember those whom death has recently taken from us, A.B. Worth. And we remember then those um, who died at this season in years past. And as we remember them, we take them into our hearts with our own. As we remember Moses Asher, Lawlette Black, Sigmund Blum, Marion Burstein, Harry Cohen, Jim Dawson, Jack Gold, Rachel Goldenberg, Herman Goodman, Zelda Goulder, Ruth Hertzberg, Norman Cow, Ella B. Cranson, Mary Louise Levy, Ben Levy Jr., Jacob Lieber, Simon Marks, John Mills, Fanny Rubenstein, Isidore Siegel, Celia Murov Sider, Dorothy Marie Robbins Taub, and Rebecca Willer. In this moment of memory, our griefs and sympathies are mingled. Loving God, we rise now to praise God's name. Itkadal v'yitkadash me rabba, v'alma divarach kurute v'yam lichmal chute, v'chayechon v'yom echon v'chaye dechobe Yisrael, Ba'agala Uzman Kari Vimru Amen. Yehe Shemei Rabah Mivarach Le'olam Omei Almaya. Yitbarach V'yishtabak V'yitparar Ridwamah V'yitnaseh. V'yithadar V'yithaleh V'yithalal Shemei Degudsha Berihu. Le'elam min kol birchata vishurata. Tushbechata v'nechamata. Da'amiram be'almah Vimru Amen. Yehei Shalama Rabba Mim Shemaya, 
Bechayim aleinu v'yalko Yisrael, bimru, amen. O say shalom bimramav, hu yaase shalom, aleinu v'yalko Yisrael, bimru, amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved, and we may say, Amen. Amen. And you may be seated. So, we are going to end our service with the singing of Ain Kelohenu, but before we do that, I have a closing prayer. May the door of this synagogue be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May it welcome all who have cares to unburden, thanks to express, hopes to nurture. May the door of this synagogue be narrow enough to shut out pettiness and pride, envy and enmity. May its threshold be no stumbling block to young or straying feet. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness, and harshness. May this synagogue be for all who enter the doorway to a richer and more meaningful life. And now, in Kelohenu. <laughs> No de le lo heinu, no de la donenu, no de le mal kinu, no de la moshienu, paru he lo heinu, paru hadonenu, paru mal kinu, paru moshienu. Atahu Eloheinu, Atahu Adoneinu, Atahu Malkinu, Atahu Moshienu. All right. If you are under the age of... <laughs> if you're under the age of 70... <laughs> <laughs> if you wish that you were under 70, if you wish that you were under 70 and nobody can go ahead. Oh, it's a Motsi Lechem Mim Haaretz. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch atarnai Eloheinu melech haolam hamotzi lechem im haaretz b'te'avon.